Whoa, look at that. That's um, Caprosma, a uh, New Zealand shrub, I think, growing quite happily here in uh, South Wales and looking glorious in the middle of October. And I thought I'd just give you a quick update on this corner of the garden uh, in October and then we'll spend a bit of time talking about Caprosma. Come and have a look. Got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of, of grasses, um, but this looks rather lovely, kind of swaying in the autumn breeze here, very gentle, um, uh, soothing effect of those uh, uh, grass fronds there. This is um, a Biden's here, a lovely kind of what we class as a bedding plant here. It's kind of taken over that that pot and swamped everything else but it was one that the the bees and the um the butterflies the pollinators were uh, very fond of nice um uh kind of golden leafed fuchsia just there still flowering into the autumn and this is beautiful this is um abelia it's a variegated leaf and if you can see just there kind of golden green leaf on it and this year it's thrown up these kind of um taller vertical spikes that have been flowering now for a couple of months and uh, nice gentle perfume on those pale pink flowers let's go and have a look at that caprosma around there on the way on the way round we can say hello to the uh, osteospermum which we cut back, you can see this on, an, on another video, we cut it back to a couple of little stumps. They, they looked dead for all intents and purposes a couple of months ago in, I think it was early July. Cut it back, gave it a feed, and it's come back twice as happy as it ever was. Still loads of flower buds to come. I think we're going to have flowers right through until we get any frost, if indeed we do get any frost. Rather lovely noreen in flower in the pot there looking gorgeous and this ladies and gentlemen is caprosma what variety i hear you ask well i don't honestly know i think it's either tequila sunrise or maybe one called pina colada i kind of like to call it pina colada because pina colada is one of my favorite drinks um <laughs> which is i guess a fair reason to favor that name but it's an evergreen, evergreen shrub with these lovely glossy leaves, which tend to change colour through the year. In the spring, we get the new growth, which is like a bright lemony gold. And then as that matures, it goes through these various stages of, of kind of orange and eventually matures to this um, darker bronze colour, which will turn a bit darker again if we get some, um, some frosts in the, uh, in the winter. And then the whole cycle um, starts again. Um, in the um, in the spring uh, you can see we've got it growing in a pot there and it's probably about five six years old this um, this plant um, it's not the hardiest of plants so we've been a little bit nervous when we've had um, very cold weather which fortunately we haven't had much of for the last few years like I like the way it almost kind of creates a natural cloud tree i'm almost tempted to prune it into a shape if it gets much bigger and see if i can create a bit of a cloud tree out of it um, when we feed it we feed it with high potash fertilizer which will toughen up the cell walls and help it um, resist uh, any frost that uh, might come along you can see at the moment it's in a saucer but we're going to take it out of that saucer and put it back on oh, onto these onto these um pot feet uh, so that the pot is raised up off the floor over the winter. Uh, so this will enable excess water to drain out and any plants that are a little bit on the tender side, a little bit susceptible to frost, if they're soaking wet, if their roots are wet and they're in boggy wet soil, they're more likely to get damaged by the frost. If you can get them in kind of a, a free draining situation, so if they're in a border, lots of grit and sand in the soil, Obviously, this is not in a border. This is in a, a pot into which we put some free draining compost. Um, and then we just give it the benefit of some extra drainage over the winter when we tend to get a lot of rain. Let that excess rain wash out through the bottom because the pot's raised up on the pot feet. And then come 
uh, late spring, early summer, we take the pot of feet out and put the saucer back on underneath. In fact, I think we've got that shown how we do that in another video. I might put the link uh, in the description of this here video if you want to see how we, uh, how we do that. Um, I guess if it was to get really, really cold, um, and I, by that I mean here in the UK, that would be if it goes down below minus five degrees overnight and even worse that's five degrees centigrade and it even worse if it goes remains below freezing during the day then we have got a couple of options because it's in a pot we could pop it into the shed um uh, while there's some cold nights around we another option would be to get a, a a kind of jacket of fleece and put that over there just to protect it but those are i would describe as emergency measures and i wouldn't want them that the plant in the shed for too long or covered in fleece for too long. I'd only do that for the duration of some really cold weather. If it's kind of ground frost or minus one, minus two, fine. If it, if it goes up above freezing during the day, it thaws out. It's when it's frozen overnight and remains frozen during the day and that goes on for a few days, that's where you could have a problem. As I say, we've had no problem with this one here in the UK for the last five years and it's become a bit of a star of the show. What do you think? Have you grown Caprosma? Do you think this is um, tequila sunrise or do you think it's pina colada? What do you prefer, pina colada or tequila? These are all important questions. <laughs> uh, we'd love to hear from you. Before I go, quick swivel round to the right. What a beautiful dahlia. That's dahlia art decor and um, lovely kind of two-tone uh, flowers on there. And that's been flowering since May or June, yeah, June we say, and still um, flowering really nicely now. Hope this all helps, hope you like it. Um, please let us know your thoughts via the comment section on YouTube. Thanks, speak soon.